So today, I'm on my way to Ramsey Cascade. We haven't had a whole lot of rain, but still, a hundred foot waterfall, yeah, let's go check it out. So today, I want to do a quick devotional on having the right attitude, even when the outcome looks bleak. And I want to use the biblical example of the life of Joseph to do so. Joseph found himself in a bad spot that was not of his making, and frankly, it was completely out of his control. Joseph was his father's favorite, and on occasion, his father would send him out to check on his older brothers. So one day, while out in the field, his older brother seen him coming from afar, and they concocted a plan to get rid of him. They even contemplated killing him. Because of their deep-rooted envy and jealousy of Joseph, they ended up capturing him and throwing him into a pit. You know, snitches get stitches. But this was much more than just teasing and hazing your younger sibling. No, they meant business. But instead of harming him, they seen some travelers coming and they sold Joseph into slavery. Now Joseph had to be in disbelief that all this was happening to him. He would have never thought that the previous night was the last night that he would ever sleep in his bed. He would have never thought that that was going to be the last day he'd ever be in his father's house. Instantly, everything he had ever known was torn from him. His family, his belongings, in a moment, his everyday way of life was turned upside down. And it was completely out of his control. Despite begging and pleading, there was nothing he could do to change it. So Joseph was taken into Egypt. And from there, he was falsely accused of a major crime and cast into prison. And I'm not talking about a prison like we know today with three hots and a cot. No, 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 no. This is more like a dungeon with chains on the wall and damp and cold and just the last place on earth you'd ever want to end up. All the while wondering if he was ever again going to be able to enjoy the simple things of life like just being able to take a walk outside into the sunshine, let alone ever seeing another sunrise or sunset, or the things that we take for granted, like just enjoying one decent meal. And then that leads to other thoughts, like wondering if he's ever gonna find somebody to love, get married, start a family. All of this is enough to break anybody. Thinking about all the days that have been wasted, days turning into years, and knowing that you was never going to get any of that time back. Joseph was 17 years old when his brother sold him into slavery. So for the next 13 years of his life was spent either enslaved or in prison. That's 13 years to get angry, to get bitter. 13 years to think about vengeance if the opportunity ever arose. And lo and behold, the opportunity arose. Joseph was released from prison. The Lord blessed him and he found favor with Pharaoh 
and Joseph become the second most powerful ruler in all of Egypt. And wouldn't you just know it, his brothers came before him begging. Now the shoe was on the other foot. They came begging and pleading Joseph for help. You couldn't have scripted this any better. I mean, how would it go? Would he restrain them and then start by removing one fingernail at a time? And then, no, it wasn't like that at all. He fell on their necks and wept. He gave them food and homes and land, the very best Egypt had to offer. Look, Joseph realized that everything he ever went through was to lead him to this place, a place where he could save his family. All Joseph ever did, no matter where he ended up, was put the best version of himself forward. Like Joseph, we can't control all of our situations, but like Joseph, we can control our attitude. From a pit, to a prison, to a palace, Joseph kept the right attitude and just kept trying to make the best out of whatever situation he found himself in. And in the end, God was able to use him because of it.